Welcome back uh, to Karnal. This is the biggest granary in the whole of Asia. Grain Mandi. And it's in Karnal, the heart of Haryana. This is uh, where you can get a sense of who's winning and who's losing in this election. And the key is just look at the grain. We're talking about a drought, but look at the grain all around you, the paddy. Everybody here, the farmers who actually half of them are not bothered about what we are doing because they are selling their uh, paddy and trying to earn their living and get back to their farms. They're saying it's been not too bad a year. But joining me to find out who's going to win this election in Haryana and why is Shekhar Gupta, Indian Express editor, and the young Durab Supariwala. First, let's have a look at the history of what's happened in Haryana. Very quickly, the elections. Look at the last election. 2009 what happened the, uh, that was the Lok Sabha election just uh, less than six months ago the Congress won easily in fact they got 59 seats out of the 90 segments these are assembly segments your Lok Sabha by assembly segments 59 out of the 90 and look at the next seven for Chautala's party the INLD seven for the BJP eight for the BSP and nine for the HJC and even if you go back to the previous assembly election, the Congress did extremely well there. 67 seats for the Congress out of 90. Thrashing everybody else. It really is an overwhelmingly Congress dominance in the last five years. Now, why is that happening? It's because mainly the Congress gains from a split in the opposition votes. With just 42% of the vote, the Congress gets more than two-thirds of the seats because everybody split. So Chautala 16%, BJP 12%, BSP 16%, the rising force here, BSP, and the HJC, so Bhajan Lal's party, 10%. So all the opposition votes are badly divided. Broadly though, where does the Congress face some resistance? In the northern part, it faces some resistance from the BSP. In the central part, Central Haryana, where we are, is Mr. Chautala's real strong area. And in the southern part, it's the BSP plus the BJP. So the question we are asking tonight is, is this like a match between the Congress and the opposition, like a match between India and Bangladesh, where there are surprises once in a while, or is it shaker like Australia versus Bangladesh, where Bangladesh never wins? Is this a, a slam dunk over done deal? Congress is winning or is there, could there be still some surprises? Well, I think I, I would still say India, Bangladesh, but yet it's a, it looks like a slam dunk, done deal. Right. Because opposition is divided. Now, Congress party, as Indian cricket team does sometimes, it can snatch <laughs> defeat from the jaws of victory. Right. But I think at this stage that seems unlikely because the basic politics of Haryana has changed over the years. Uh, what has happened is that right. Devi Lal, who had built uh, the anti-Congress poll in the state's politics. In fact, Devi Lal once got 70 out of 90 seats. Well, for a long time, this state used to be like Kerala. You know, one would go and the other would come in. Right. But with Devi, but two things have happened. One, Devi Lal's decline right. and Chautala somehow proved, not somehow for good reasons, did not prove a worthy enough successor. Second... Jat did not prove he was not worthy enough successor. Is yes, that what you said? because he didn't quite have the charisma of Devilal, as Tao Devilal, right. champion of not just the Jats but of right. farmers. Right. Because you know, people forget that while Jats look very dominant, they are just about 20, 20 odd percent in Haryana's population. They are they are not an overwhelming majority. Right, right. They are, they are, they are very dominant politically. Yeah. Congress, on the other hand, discovered a Jat leader, Huda, who right. many non-Jats do not see as a Jat because right. you know his style of politics is right. not jarred politics.